Okay, my friend, we can get there together. So the first and most crucial thing to understand about magic is that mana is so important to the balance of the game that when you sit down to play commander, right? No matter what you and your friends are playing, the archetypes, the colors, who cares? It's all bells and whistles. It's all window dressing to the real game, which is who can count to eight first. That's it. That's the whole thing, okay? There are obviously combos that can try and win the game before you count to eight mana, but by the time people have eight mana, and that's a soft number, the sucker shit is out the window, okay? It's all doomsday devices and crimes at that point. At eight mana, every play you make should be trying to win the game, and if it's not, your deck sucks. It's not casual, it's shitty. And so fast mana not only shortens the clock to eight, it also allows you to start playing three drops on turn one or four drops on turn two. And that has only ever been deleterious to the casual experience, in my opinion. Now, the stuff that's fast mana but one time use only, like the Lotus stuff or like the Rituals, that's not as bad because it doesn't permanently alter the curve of whatever you're trying to do. But like, nobody has ever resolved the Dark Ritual and then not proceeded to hit you with the most fucking dastardly turn that has ever happened, okay? I have kept a one land hand in Prosper because it had Dark Ritual and that shit worked out. It's evil. You can't convince me otherwise. It's almost always impossible to have a real conversation around it because people frame it as like casual or CEDH when it's really a spectrum. And so fast mana doesn't, on its own, make a deck no longer casual. But fast mana is like the most common denominator for making games that feel one-sided and or unfun and or not casual.